Hi there. So today we are going to talk about WP query. Uh, this is the most important uh, part of the WordPress. So WP query is used to get data from post table. And in this table, all the post types uh, data are stored. For example, this post, media, pages, books, whatever the post types are, those are stored in this uh, post table. So let me search this post. So this is the responsible table. So uh, main data of any WordPress site are stored in this table only. So let me close this. So yeah, this is the table. So this WP query uh, is used to get data from this table only. So first of all, uh, I made a page called all books because I have a post type called books. And if you don't know how I created this, uh, go back to my WordPress playlist. I will provide the link into the description section. So I have created uh, all the videos related to uh, the basic stuff we are going to do in this video. So I created a page called all books and uh, I have assigned a template page template uh, called all books over here and again if you don't know how to create a page template uh, I already created that video um, I will provide uh, necessary links into the description section so that you can go back there and check that again so yeah this is my child theme and i added this page called allbooks.php and here is the template i created and currently in this template nothing but the header and footer so first let's see how it looks like without adding any body so yeah we just have the header and the footer now we we are going to use wp query so what is the syntax syntax is syntax is very simple this is a class wp query and we just have to pass argument so getting data using WP query is only a matter of passing a right argument based on your requirement. So first let's add this and assign it to a variable. Now we will pass some arguments and it will be in array format so as i am going to fetch these books post type so first parameter we have to pass is a post type so let's pass post type and uh, we have to pass the slug of the post type then posts per page how many posts we want to display on a single page so let's say 10 then order by so by which field we want to order the data of the books uh, and the field is from this wp post table so let me go to structure 
so these are the fields uh, we can specify for the order by so let's say I want to order by ID so pass the column name and in which order so let's say I want to have a in ascending order so it will order the data into the ascending order by the id column so this is how you can pass argument so in this video i'm just going to show you a basic uh, wp query and later on we will learn more about uh, wp query so this is the syntax of uh, passing WP query it won't uh, display anything because we are just creating a query and after creating a query we have to loop through this query so let's see how a loop looks alike for WP query so this is the syntax for the loop and it is all uh, same when it comes to WP query so whenever you are uh, making any WP query loop is going to look like this so let me remove some extra stuff here and show you the default how it looks like so the query we are uh, defined this variable and uh, assign this WP query object so now this become an object so first is to check condition that if this query has a post or not then only this is going to loop through the query and now let me get back so this is now UL and uh, I'm adding LI So this is uh, so this is necessary uh, it checks whether we are in loop or not so if you don't put this uh, loop is not going to work so yeah whenever you use a while for a WP query put this uh, first line into the while loop and then whatever then do whatever you want to do so here i'm going to print a simple title for this um, for this query so get the title is the function we can use inside the while loop to get post title and we are fetching the book here so let's refresh this now so as you can see we are getting the books over here let's print the id as well because we want to confirm that it is ordering uh, in ascending uh, by id so um, i'm gonna add one more get the id get the id is the function by which we can get the id of the post inside the loop so now let's refresh it so as you can see the id is in ascending order now let's make this in descending order so simply by changing this value for order you will see that now it is coming into descending order similarly let's say we want to change ordering by title so we can just simply change the value for order by and let's see how it looks okay uh, we have uh, all the titles similar 
but uh, you can see that this is in descending order because in the title it is going to consider this number as well so what i'm gonna do is uh, let me add a new book start with z So as we are now uh, displaying based on the title, so Z should come first. And yeah, as you can see. Now let's try to, um, sorry. Now let's try to make this ascending. So it should start with D but let's try to add a book called a book so now it should start appearing over here let me try to add a b book let's refresh this so you can see this is how uh, ordering works and you can order by any field over here um, now uh, this one post per page we have passed 10 and it is 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 um, so even if we don't pass this it will by default take 10 actually it is taking the setting from here so here it is a limit of 10 if we make this 5 then this will display 5 post only so if we don't specify posts per page over here it will consider post per page fr from here so as of now let me make this 10 and like let me make this over here 3 and let's see so here you will get three posts only as you can see there are total 102 posts uh, i mean books published over here but as we are displaying post per page uh, as three so we are getting only three books now we can use uh, pagination as well but uh, we will see pagination into the next video in this video we just uh, learn about how wp query works and how we can write a loop for a wp query i will provide a code snippet of this sample code into the description section if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section Thanks for watching the video.